Energizing your soul through the inspired Word of God. This is your daily devotional reading. My Life Today, a devotional by Ellen White. July 5th. How pleasant are words fitly spoken. Pleasant words are as an honeycomb, sweet to the soul and health to the bones. Proverbs sixteen twenty four. Pleasant words are as an honeycomb, sweet to the soul and health to the bones. Proverbs sixteen twenty four. How pleasant are words fitly spoken. A word fitly spoken is like apples of gold in pictures of silver. Proverbs chapter 25 verse 11. When at a feast, Christ controlled the conversation and gave many precious lessons. Those present listened to him, for had he not healed their sick, comforted their sorrowing, and taken their children in his arms, publicans and sinners were drawn to him, and when he spoke, their attention was riveted on him. Christ taught his disciples how to conduct themselves when in the company of others. He instructed them in regard to the duties and regulations of true social life, which are the same as the laws of the kingdom of God. He taught the disciples by example that when attending any public gathering, they need not want for something to say. His conversation when at a feast differed most decidedly from that which had been listened to at feasts in the past. Every word he uttered was a savor of life unto life. He spoke with clearness and simplicity. His words were as apples of gold in pictures of silver. Communion with Christ, how unspeakably precious. Such communion it is our privilege to enjoy. When the early disciples heard the words of Christ, they felt their need of him. They sought, they found, they followed him. They were with him in the house, at the table, in the closet, in the field. They were with him as pupils, with a teacher, daily receiving from his lips lessons of holy truth. They looked to him as servants to their master. They served him cheerfully, gladly. Great importance is attached to our associations. We may form many that are pleasant and helpful, but none are so precious as that by which finite man is brought into connection with the infinite God. When thus united, the words of Christ abide in us. The result will be a purified heart, a circumspect life, and a faultless character. But it is only by acquaintance and association with Christ that we can become like him, the one faultless Example. My Life Today, July 5th. I encourage you to be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Thank you for listening and be sure to join us tomorrow for your daily devotional reading.